Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be talking about how to display multiple values in one data card in Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. Let me add a data card from my visual gallery. And let me adjust the size of the data card. OK, and from my data table, I will add order quantity, sum of order quantity. So as you can see here, sum of order quantity or total order quantity. So we know that we use a data card to display single value. But here what we are going to do, do we will display total order quantity, average order quantity and minimum order quantity. So to do this, let me create a first major. I will right click from here and I will say new major. And I will say total order quantity. Let me increase the size so you can able to see. Total order QTY in short and I will say sum table name order column name order quantity. So I have created total order quantity. Now I will go to formatting option for this data card or card. So I will click on journal. In journal I will enable a title first. And in title, I will write total order QTY. Okay, and I will align to center and I will increase size to 16 and I make it bold and I will set the background to light blue. So as you can see here. So below the title, you can see subtitle. Enable the subtitle and expand. You can see here subtitle option. Here you have to click on the conditional formatting. So you can see the conditional formatting window is open now. And from here field, you have to select the sum total order quantity, the major which we have created just now. So let me select. So we are unable to select the major because it required a string and the Total order quantity is a numeric value. So let me fix that. So I'll click on this measure and what I'm going to do, I will use M person to join the string double quotes and double quote and press enter. Now in subtitle again, go back to conditional formatting and in conditional formatting. Again, expand your order table and select total order quantity and click OK. So if you can see your order quantity here, let me increase zoom in. So as you can see here, you can see here your order quantity. Now I'll do some formatting. So I will align to center. I will increase size to 12. And I will make it black. And I will make it bold. So you can see the total total order quantity here. Now we want to display average and minimum. So let me create a one more major here for average. So I'll click on new major. And here I will type AVG. Order. UTY. Sum of order order quantity column name. So my, my average measure is ready. Now I will create a one more measure. For min order quantity. So here I will say. Min. Order. QTY. I will use a min function tax function table name order column name, order quantity. And bracket close, hit the enter button. And let me check average order quantity. So we have no here. There is a mistake. 
So instead of sum, we will use average function. And table name order. And column name order quantity. Bracket close in hit the enter button. So now we have created a average order quantity and minimum order quantity and which we want to display here. On top of that, we create a one more new measure. And here we will join the average and mean order quantity. So my major name is AVG and min order QTY. And I will say average order quantity join with any character colon or I will join with I'll put a space and join with this character. And. Minimum order quantity. So average order quantity join with this character with the minimum order quantity. And one thing we want we forgot actually. So in average quantity we use a format format function. We don't want a decimal place. If you want, you can leave like this. I will use a format function. And I will say zero, so no decimal place. And for minimum also. I will use same thing. Format. Comma. Zero bracket close. Now I will select this data card and go to field option. And I will remove some of order quantity and I have created average and min order quantity. I'll just place it here. So as you can see four and one. So and here what we are going to do. I will just rename it and I will say. AVG. Space and min. And let me reduce the size. So as you can see here, total order quantity. Here you can see total order quantity. Sorry, it's not AUG, ABG. Let me change this. Instead of you, I will say V. Or you can give any any label. OK, so now you can see the total order quantity, average order quantity and minimum order quantity. So single data card, three values. That's all for this video and I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.